Six guys watching one rod tip. Oh my god, that's, oh my god, we got him up. <laughs> Triple flat back flip, oh, I'm coming. Going to gear. Oh, how do you reel, okay. Holy the Cuban Wahoo. <laughs> All right. You know what's really fun in the Cayman Islands? Every morning, you wake up to the sound of roosters roosting. Let's see if you can hear one. Of course, they all stop when I start filming. Yeah, typical. It really makes me want to get some chickens. Mmm, fresh eggs in the morning. Anyways, we're in Cayman Islands. We're gonna be heading offshore the pier again, and I think the game plan today is, right now it is 6.30 got to be on the boat in 10 minutes so I gotta hurry up I think we're gonna troll for Wahoo again maybe we'll hook another Marlin and then we're gonna do some sword fishing I think I think today's sword fishing let's get to it yeah I'm not allowed to bring bananas on the boat so I gotta eat my bananas in shame in my room all by myself drink some of my vitamins that kind of tastes like baby food oh it is nice calm Glass there it is. Wow, this might be glassier than yesterday. Is your spool rod in here? I know, I took it back. He's probably, I know we're trolling this morning. So probably the wire probably ones? The wires. Uh. Holy baby mama drama, that is a heavy reel. <laughs> yeah, what are these? Acne. Can't eat them? You can once they open up. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't eat them. Start your engines. What kind of bait is that? Sprats? Sprats. Sprats. White white fish. White, white fish or white bait. White bait. I think that I've heard people call it that before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of the charter guys call it white bait. I just call them pilchards. Yeah. There's like three different types of pilchards we get. Do the sprats usually look like raindrops on the surface? Yeah, you'll see, you'll see flicking. 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 Yeah. Oh, there's a starfish. Yeah, yeah. Or a sea star. No, this is Patrick. Alright, we're back on the troll with Pierre and it's crazy because we were right next to land, and how deep are we? Like uh, right here, we're in a thousand feet already. A thousand feet of water, and land is literally not even a mile. It's like a half a mile from us. We'll be even closer to land too as we come up around uh, the corner. We're, we seem really far away here because of the, the barrier reef yeah. that's in the way. Do you guys buy all your ballyhoo, or do you catch? Or yeah, uh, we buy most of the ballyhoo. Um, but the That's right. And you're stuff we really catch. Got a big source of Bali. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You're saying you're trying to conserve them. Island consensus. Yeah, the, the little bit that's there, all the, some of us, some of them not so much. Uh -huh. That's Bali. a nice looking bait. Put this here. We're gonna gauge it. Hook sits about right there. Okay. I go below the spine. Test to make sure it's not sliding. Yep. There we go. And that hook just kind of dangles. It's a trailing here. hook. Trailing yeah. hook. Wow. Oh yeah. Not old. That's like the green goblin. Yeah, it's a little bad hair day for it, but that's just how <laughs> that, many fish it caught. It's a seaweedy kind of day. That's awesome, bro. Yeah. Coming around. Fish on the feathers. Yeah. I heard that clicker and I thought I was just <laughs> imagining it. Alright. We're in the we're in the fish now. There's at least two of them. 
No. Yeah, stop right there. Oh wait, they're still on. Juice balls. There you go. Nice. Oh, nice. I got a little between the leg tuna action. <laughs> <laughs> One of the best ways to start the morning. Yeah. Slimed up, ready to go. They both hit the green. Oh, really? Usually they like the pink. I even when I put it out, I was kind of double guessing myself. I'm like, oh, I need green and pink. That is, that is kind of decent. That don't want to crank. This was out far. Oh, I see them. I hope they don't get caught in this. Uh, three of them, yeah. Holy yeah, smokes, a string or a black fin tuna. More tuna coming on the boat. They're everywhere. Tuna! Another fish in the box. Oh, he tried to eat two of them. Greedy little fish. He wasn't going anywhere. Yeah. Dang, what happened here? Ah, oh, almost a fish. Oh, so close. Probably a barracuda, but um, I saw the rod tip shaking and it never pulled any drag. Yeah. But we run a lot of drag on these reels. So if they don't, the smaller ones don't always pull a lot of drag. Especially the barracudas. Yeah. You tore that sucker up. Missed, missed that second hook. Bit right behind the first one, stripped it, delayed it nearly. Yeah. At least he had a good little taste in his mouth. He was like, mmm. <laughs> Fish on, fish on! We can't keep the tunas off the feathers. <laughs> you never have too many. And then we have like five of them. You, you can realize how That's quick gonna we're gonna go through hour. those. Yeah, they go really quickly. Because we're gonna catch some of the other fish. Yeah, exactly. We're gonna make them better. We're gonna upgrade them all. Oh no. my god. They need to be able to just lost one right there. Oh. Alright, that's good there. Tuna. Just tuna, tuna, tuna. Off right behind the boat. Nice. Look, they're all on the greens again. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how. It, it's tight, but <clears throat> once you get it moving, oh. and he was pulling it too. And he'll pull that like nothing. Yeah. Wow. He'll run off with that. Ooh. Alright. The fish are awake. I'm about to be after this coffee. Yeah, look at that guy. I don't have any more fresh fruit, but... These wahoo are uh, being difficult. Another black fin on. There he comes. Is that number 11? I think so. Hoo-wee! You... Load it up. <laughs> Still got all the barracudas in there. Yeah. <laughs> Another tuna. Ooh, that was a good one. Oh my Get god, that's no, oh my god, we got them up. <laughs> Triple flat backflip. Oh, I'm coming. Wouldn't it go into gear? Oh, how do you reel? Okay. <laughs> all right, I see lots of color. Get ready with that. Yeah, I'm gonna... yeah, it's a barrel. I don't. I probably don't need it. Yeah. Nice. Oh, yeah, nice barrel. Okay. 
Oh! Oh, sh**. There you go. Big Barra. <laughs> Holy <laughs> The Cuban Wahoo. Nice. <laughs> All right. A good size Barra. No more Mora came off the right here. Yeah. Is he stuck to the floor? Very slippery. Don't touch the tire. Be careful, Byron. There you go. Little baby Ramora. Good luck, buddy. You want him? You can put him in your. You had a, that would be cool in a saltwater cool tank. tank. I'm just gonna turn him back. Yeah. Let him go. Freedom. That's just a thermocline. We couldn't keep the black fin tuna off the hooks. Got a bunch of them. Now we're gonna do some deep dropping for some napper. Chunking up some black fin tuna as bait. We're gonna drop it deep. How deep are we dropping this? 1,100 feet. 1,100 feet. Wow. How many hooks are on this sucker? This, this is an eight hook rig. Eight hooks. Woo wee. Three way swivels to connect everything up. That's all of them? Yeah. It's like Christmas lights or something. Don't forget, if you need chicken rigs or lights, remember no light, no bite, SouthFloridaFishingChannel.com. We got them all in stock. Load up on them. You're basically gonna drop it, but make Watch sure. Yeah. Just let it go. Just yeah. let Ready? it go and clear your hand quickly. Perfect. On it goes. Six guys watching one rod tip. Oh, ayo. Double tuna hook up. Oh, you're sending that tuna out live? Ooh. Could even have been turbots, too. Well, see how they picked out his stomach? Yeah. Well, that tuna didn't last very long. That's turbits that ate him. Oh, you had her long. We got a squid going to the bottom. Maybe we'll bring up a swordfish. Oh boy! Something on. That's tight. Yeah. It didn't take too long. Oh! That didn't take long at all. What do you think's on there? A sword? Palm frit? Uh, could be a palm frit. Could be a sword. Could be an they don't, he doesn't even know he's hooked no, if he's a really. big sword. How deep are we? We are still at like 14, 1300 feet. Oh, he's still way feet. down there. Oh yeah. We got a way to go. We've come up a couple hundred feet, so... I mean, he should have kind of carried on by now. Yeah. So... Unless he's just so cruising up. up we got leader. Clip the weight <laughs> off. Nice. All right, what do we got? Escalar. Yeah. Woo! That's a first for me. I got some nasty teeth on them. Wow. Kind of like a deep water barracuda. Wow. See the eyes on them? Woo! That's a cool looking fish. You see it in there? It's like on the. It's crawling up the side of his mouth in there. Alright, where do you want him? Uh, we can just drop him head first. See if he survives. Alright, buddy, good luck. They're pretty tough animals. He is wiggling. Nasty little thing. He looks like a serpent. Yeah, they do, yeah. Is that the one that makes you poop? Um, one of can. the types, yeah. If you eat too much of that, you'll get the... He could have been a sword. Could have been. He's sure. in the, he lives in the same place He's as a sword, world. so... Mm-hmm. With a cooler full of blackfin tuna. Yeehaw!
fishing trip planned here in Cayman and we're going to be targeting big yellow fin tuna. It's going to be a catch and cook video and that's coming out next so make sure you hit the subscribe button. And the first thing I'm going to do when I get back to Florida is a solo fishing trip on my boat. So hit the subscribe button and I'll see you guys there. Cheers.